round, round eight here in Newcastle. And it's been... Well, Prescott's been dangerous throughout the fight, but he's on our card. He's, he's trading by a mile. Mitchell just outboxing him. I think we've seen a, enough of Prescott to, to realise that he is dangerous though, Colin, isn't it? It's still a long way to go. Yeah, this is going to be a good win if, if Mitchell does get over the line. I think Prescott's shown us enough tonight to, you know, for, for this to be a good victory for Kevin Mitchell. Remember, the WBO lightweight title is held by uh, Michael Katsidis. No stranger to these shores. He was involved in a thriller with Graham L at Wembley a couple of years ago on an Amir Khan undercard. And that was a, an absolute classic. Body shot there from Prescott on the right hand as well. A clipping right hand. That was the and Mitchell oh. stood still then for the yep. first time in the fight and, and got, got caught with three shots. Packy comes with a double left, including one to the body. Jab again off Prescott. It's, it, it's a fantastic jab, that you see it register straight away when it lands. A better round this for Raiders Prescott. And Mitchell's gum shields come out, I think. Seems to be working that body a little bit more. There's, there's plenty of plenty of body to work with, so Mitch, Mitchell seems to be going for that body a little bit more. It certainly is. Mitchell just misses with the right hand. I think Prescott's had more success in this round than he's had since the beginning of the fight. He has, but it's still good for Mitchell. And he's just forced to hold on inside. A good left hand from a uh, good right hand from Mitchell, sorry. On the break. A minute left of this eighth round. just trapped on the ropes doesn't want to be there this is where the uh, the stamina comes into play all those miles and miles and miles of road work you do all the sparring too it's important isn't it Ryan for, for Kevin to no. keep on his bike see, very important, see very that? important he swung a right and then a left and Mitchell ducked under both of them and went sailing over his head his defensive work's been at A1 today He's, he's rolling under each punches. Look at this, fantastic work by Mitchell as he gets Prescott on the ropes. And Mitchell hears the crowd roar. He doesn't want to take too many risks though. You can't quite tell whether Prescott's just playing possum. I don't think he's there for the taking yet. And Mitchell just again does enough to, to nick the round. Prescott beginning to look something of a broken man as he goes back to his corner. As he heads back to that corner, he's got his head down, he sits down in a slum. He's not, he's not a happy chappy at the minute. Two thirds of the way through the fight. And Kevin Mitchell's well on course for victory. You see some pictures backstage of Dimitri Salita just warming up ahead of his big clash with Amir Khan. It was Khan, of course, who lost in just 50 odd seconds to Raiders Prescott. Kevin Mitchell has done much better than Khan. He's on course here for victory. Ahead on our card. I imagine he'd be ahead on the uh, three judges at ringside. Second out, round nine. He should be. But here we go, round nine. More of the same from Mitchell. Or can Prescott do some damage? Just a, a quiet 30 seconds there to open the round. And that would suit Kevin Mitchell, I think. It's up to Prescott really to try and force the pace now. They're behind on the cards, we think. I know Kevin will be growing in confidence, but I just hope he don't try and get change his game plan and think that he could, you know, take Prescott out right now. I hope he sticks to his game plan, you know, do exactly what he's doing, counter punching as Prescott comes on and throws his big shots. Just like that, and roll off and move away. Brilliant by Mitchell. 
just uh, it's a, a brilliant boxing display, isn't it, this evening, Colin? Excellent, excellent boxing. It's funny how different different fights pleases please in different ways. Sometimes you can have a, you know, a real quality tear up, and it's a, a thriller, and everyone goes home happy. Other times you just uh, well, see an artist at work, don't you? And that can be equally as compelling and equally as watchable. The puzzle tonight for Kevin Mitchell was how to beat a big puncher, a man with a, a big reach and height advantage, and it'd be dangerous from the off. And at the moment, he's uh, managing to unlock the puzzle. He's got the key to it so far. And probably only three round, or three and a half rounds away from victory. Have you noticed that Prescott's not storming forward anymore like he was, or swinging as many punches as he was? No, he's slowed right down, hasn't he? Yeah. I think the pace he set early on, I think it's telling now. Well, it's being made to miss, and frustration sets in. He in gets a cut, and uh, Mitchell, you know, is sort of countering him. He's almost tamed the beast, hasn't he, at the moment? Well, just then he was sort of not trapped in a corner, but he was at his back to a corner, and uh, he, Prescott let him get out without, without a, a, you know, mounting an attack. Yep. Which so he must be feeling, you know, feeling it in his legs as well, because he has done a lot of chasing. Solid left hand from Kevin Mitchell, probably the best punch of the round. Ooh, from the crowd. Last 10 seconds here of this, the ninth round. A closer round. Yeah, but Mitchell's well, probably done enough though, hasn't he, Colin? Well, has Prescott landed? Hardly anything. Another round to Mitchell I, from I then. mean, I could be completely wrong with this scoring, but I cannot give Prescott anything. Mitchell just raised his hand there as he went back to the corner, waved to the crowd. And I imagine the confidence is, is rising noticeable as well at the uh, the start of the fight the breaks between the uh, the rounds Mitchell uh, Prescott was in Mitchell's face there was a, a bit of afters after the first round and the I think maybe the second or third as well now Prescott just goes back to his corner as quiet as a lamb he's resigned to his fate I'm still working on the cup but I didn't see any blood um, I haven't seen any blood for a couple of rounds now from that that eye. Seems to have stopped the bleeding pretty well. He's done really well in the corner with a cut. Here we go, round ten. Shame it's not a ten rounder, isn't it? <laughs> Mitchell would be delighted, wouldn't he? Mind you, we're supposed to be impartial here. He has been 12 uh, a couple of times before Kevin Mitchell. When he won the, uh, the Commonwealth title against George Ashey. 12 that night, a couple of... Uh, I think Ryan will tell us, I mean, as you get tired, your power goes, is that right, Ryan? Yeah, your, your power's not always, especially when you're getting tired as well, and, and when you do try and chuck your power shots, you leave your, your defences open as sure. well. So this is what this this is the most, probably the most important, apart from the first three rounds, this is probably the most important couple, last couple of rounds for Mitchell because obviously he's tight, it's kicking in now. Prescott's still winging them powerful shots and it could take Mitchell out at any time. He still looks dangerous, doesn't he, Braders Prescott? He does, but Mitchell still looks strong. He does. There's maybe just a hint in this round that Mitchell's just slowing down a little bit. Well, Prescott maybe getting a bit of a second wind as well. There's a certain amount of tension in there when you are you know that oh, absolutely. the fellas throwing bombs at you and you've got to... Make sure they don't land. And add to that that you know, it's the biggest fight of your, he of got your life. He got with a left hook then. Fortunately, he rode the punch. But he, um, I think Prescott's moving forward now because Mitchell has taken a bit of a breather. Either he's taken a breather or he's run out of gas a bit himself. Well, often the... Ryan, the, the ninth and tenth rounds can be tough, can't they? Because you're that, that far away from they the finishing the line. They can be the turning point in any fight. No matter who you are, the, the ninth and the tenth round, you're going to feel the pace. No matter who you are, and and just 
obviously we're, we're just getting into the tenth round now, and, and Kevin does look like he's slowing down a little bit. He's not on his toes as much. Prescott's stalking and stalking. I don't think Prescott can do much about it now, you know. Well, that's the problem for him, isn't it? That there's, uh, you know, his his stamina's beginning to fade a little bit as we go into the championship rounds down the stretch. Now that was interesting. They got Prescott into a holding. clinch, and uh, and Mitchell was strong enough to push him back. Yep. Good jab that from Kevin Mitchell now. Oh, Prescott backed up again. Prescott just turns his left shoulder. Crowd likes it. Oh, Mitchell wobbled. Good left hook there by Prescott. Mitchell needs to keep 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 under wraps. Keep keep boxing. Keep boxing and moving like he's doing now. Mitchell almost you can almost see him telling himself there to you know, get back on your bike, get moving. Mitchell cannot underestimate Prescott for a second. That's the, the danger as well if. Uh, Mitchell ever thinks that Prescott's hurt. Just wonder if Prescott's playing, playing possum, trying to draw Mitchell in. Back comes Mitchell. Opens up the cut again. And the booze there because Prescott almost... I thought Prescott won that round. Yeah, 